Coming up, we're gonna show you how to take this original steel bracket and turn it into a nice lightweight carbon fiber one. What's up everybody? We're gonna do a quick little project where we're gonna make a carbon fiber bracket to replace the quickly fabricated metal bracket that I made when I originally did this 3.5 EcoBoost swap. You can see right here where I utilized this threaded hole in the housing right here. I basically welded an M6 bolt to an M6 bolt to give me a stud coming out, which went to the bracket that came with the catch can. It's right about where it would be. So as long as it was, there was just a lot of weight on here. I guess vibration over time, fatigue the metal, broke. What we're gonna do is make a carbon fiber bracket that comes down out to the catch can. It'll be plenty strong, it'll look a lot nicer, and it'll be lighter. So I rooted through my scrap metal bin. I found this metal bracket, no idea what it's from, but basically this contour right here will be where it bolts into the hole on the engine, and then we're gonna cut out our material right here to have the catch can sit. A real quick, simple trick, you can see how this is kind of shiny. If you wrap anything with clear packaging tape, epoxy will just peel right off of it. So it's just a bracket, it's a little one-off part, so no sense really making a mold or anything like that. This will work fine for us. We're set up ready to go with our carbon, peel ply, our bleeder. We're going to do what's called an envelope bag. So you can see we have our gum tape set up, our vacuum line will come in, and we're basically just going to wrap the whole entire part once it's laid up with all the consumables on it. We're just gonna speed through this bit real quick. I did a video not too long ago about how to vacuum bag parts if you want more information about the specifics of vacuum bagging. There's not too much to it. You just mix up your epoxy, put on all your layers, put on your consumables. Right now, I just put on the peel ply. We're doing the bleeder right now. You can see that I overcut the bleeder and I'm tucking it around all the edges. That metal bracket had some sharper edges on it and the bleeder will just prevent it from poking through the bag. This is just a little extra part of bleeder to help the vacuum line get even vacuum pressure across the whole entire part. Following that, the envelope bag, you just wrap the part like you would anything else. Put your vacuum line in and then get into the oven. Fifty seven grams. Not quite thirty. So about half the weight for something that's that much larger. And then you can maybe see a thickness. Might be a little hard to see in the video. Much thicker, much stronger. There you have it. Quick, easy way to make a nice carbon fiber bracket. I probably had more time in setting up the camera equipment, recording stuff, than actually hands-on time to make this thing, but you can still see there's a little bit of movement in it, but it's much firmer than before. Coupled with, carbon fiber has much more fatigue resistance than metal bolts, so this should last forever.